I'm sure you can be quiet for five minutes, which is all I'm going to talk for, but then you've got John Hill calling me, so maybe for a moment. So I'd just like to say how fantastic. Bye, everybody, shut up, please. Come with the tigers. I'd just like to say how fantastic it is to have so many people here tonight to celebrate BFAC's 25th anniversary. I think it's a fantastic club, I'm very proud to be a part of it, along with everybody here, and people who've been members in the past. Um, as you know, I'm, most of you know, I'm the president this year, and it's just an honor to be. President of such a fantastic club in its 25th year. Um, I'd just like to thank a few people who helped me organise this evening. Huge thanks to Rick, who put together an amazing slideshow that you've all been watching. Thanks also very much to the people who took the time to send in photographs and all videos to Rick. We really appreciate people who took the time to do that, to help him out. Um, I'd like to thank John, Chris Brand, Joy and Heaven for spreading the word about the party and contacting the past members and also anyone else who contacted people that they used to know and spread the word. So thanks very much guys for getting everyone here. I'd like to thank Chris Chan for making the banners and the posters that you see tonight. I think he did a great job. Thank you very much. Karen and Helen for being on the organising committee and helping me out, and also to Amanda and Sue for organising the fabulous cakes you'll see at the back there. Kind of a party without a birthday cake. And for the blue. Thank you very much. Did a great job in decorating the place. I'd also like to thank Will for setting up the online payment on the website, because that made my life so much easier organising this party. Richard Freeman, or who pronounced his name right, called his um, He couldn't be here tonight, but he wrote a really nice note uh, by a Rick. So I'd just like to read that out, because it says a lot about the club. And he was the first president, so pretty apt that he gets to have a say even though he's not here. Um, one of the things that John said really stood out to make about the members of BFAC. The spirit and goals are the same over all these years. It's about support of each other through injuries and hard training and being rewarded for effort and also about having a ton of fun, which I'm sure has happened throughout the years and is still happening. Collectively, as a group, BFAC have had a lot to be proud of and know all about socials and having some good old fashioned fun. This will be a great night, I think it is already, and I wish I could be there. So thanks very much to him for that, because it really sums up everything about the club. <laughs> I've just got a couple of notes from people who couldn't make it, and John's going to do a few more. Um, from Angela O'Connor. All the best with the anniversary dinner. We really wish you could hire a spaceship for the night and come over from Australia. And I'm sure she's not the, same, not the only one. I'm sure Emily could have flown over from New Zealand. She'd be here as well. And Ellie sent me a message saying, have a great night, everybody, because she couldn't make it from Calgary. A little bit closer. But. So to all the people who are here tonight, we wish you were. Thanks for being members of VFAC over the years. And also, Bob and Harry. Um, Harry's not very well at the moment, um, so they couldn't make it tonight. They met at the club and they said that although they couldn't make it tonight, they were hoping to make it to a summer party that we're going to have during the summer this year because there's no, no reason just to have one party. So hopefully we'll see them during the year. So I'd just like to finish off because as I said, I wasn't going to talk for too long because John Hill's next. Um, by saying he's to another 25 excellent years and a huge thanks.
possible to the man who made this all possible, said that the club is still running it, running it. He's an absolutely fantastic guy. So over to Mr. Bufat, John Hill. would be happening. Um, I think I would have started the speech a long time ago, but <laughs> probably fortunately for all of you who know me well, I and mean, I probably would have droned on and on longer than the club's been around, so I'm just going to keep it kind of short. And, uh, <laughs> um, anyhow, no, it just, this blows me away. Um, 25 years and I, I um, I think that one of the things that maybe makes, helps to kind of come to grips with what that means is uh, more than anything else, I mean, I, the performance is everything else, but we've had six people have met in this club and married. It's unbelievable. And, um, it's, uh, and they're all still together. I think they're trying to teach me something. <laughs> yeah. But um, I want to mention those because that's that's pretty uh, like, you know it, it's pretty amazing. And the, the first uh, Barb and Harry, who I think Jeanette was mentioning, um, they would have been here. Um, Harry's ill, and if they had had any chance of being here, they will, and hopefully we'll see them later this year. We have two couples in the Okanagan who absolutely would have been here for sure. Malcolm Taylor and Wendy Armstrong Taylor and Kim Stansfield and John Gordon who was an uh, early president. Kim was the newsletter editor for years. And I think I have some of her crazy product. Uh, she did one as a National Enquirer, I think. Uh, instead of writing about club news, she sort of made the whole thing into a National Enquirer one year, but anyhow. They gave their regrets too, but uh, would love to have been here. And then we've had three more recent ones, Simon Driver and Katrina Driver, who are in Montreal. And Matt uh, Federick, who was uh, another former president, and Trudy Jackson. And Matt is now on the World Anti-Doping Council, so he's in Colorado in the States. And uh, Joel Werner and Sue Werner, so six couples. and. Um, I also want to mention, um, uh, I think in their honor, we've had, unfortunately, four people have passed on. Doug Prouse, who a lot of the original members would remember, and um, Gerd Meinhardt, and um, Phil Hornby, and I think we have a representative Phil here. Jerry, put up your hand if people... <laughs> All our, a lot of the current members, Dave Reed. And uh, I think that we should all remember that too. But life goes on and we've had, we've lost four people. Um, but because of these aforementioned VFAT couples, we've had six people brought into this world too. So there you go, life carries on. And um, anyhow, I'm just a little while here. <laughs> Um, anyhow, um, uh, any, uh, the, uh, the thing that I think I've been finding tonight um, that also kind of sinks in how long we've been around is I get completely confused as to who's going to know each other here. And I think it's a good thing to date because honestly I, I have people, um, which is kind of cool too, we've had three or four people that have been on and off and come back that have been were around in the 80s. Gord Carscat couldn't make it, he's away. And Kirsty Siemens, who's around, and Rick Horn, who put this together, so he's very much involved now. Um, but anyway, whenever any of these people come around, I, I'm always thinking, well, you must know such and such, and they go, no. And, well, it turns out one was 1993 and the other was 1996 or something, and 
even my anally retentive 10 k you know, race time memory can't exactly put these dates together, but it kind of reinforces how long 25 years actually is. And, um, um, but uh, the other thing I want to do, there is a lot of um, original charter members here, and uh, if I make any slight mistakes here, maybe people can correct me, but the first meeting, uh, unlike what some of your tags say, was in 1987. I was coaching some of these people before then. We're having this in, in 2012 because it is two weeks almost to the day from our 25th, uh, from the founding meeting. It was at Francie and Larry Crowley's. And um, also there that night, or with, um, it's my, my sister Jennifer, who was our first treasurer. Andrew and Gord, Andrew Skoos, Gord Bytaller. Um, John, I think was, John Lord. He was our first newsletter editor. Um, we got those over there somewhere, if you want to see what a 1980 uh, editorial consultant would do. Um, and uh, Bob Ruff, is Bob still here? Bob? Maybe he's, okay, he was here. So it's pretty cool that I think we had about, I think there was what, about 15 people at the first meeting? So I think about half of them have been here. Wait, Wayne, were you, what was your year? I thought it was 86, but I guess it's not that. Well then you, were, no, 86 was my clinic. I was in that clinic. But were you at Francie's meeting? I don't think so. Okay, well you're, Rick, Rick and you, Rick and you, and uh, I think we have a couple others that were about a year, Alec and Adam Park. Uh, Catherine, you, no, not quite. Um, they're all, they all go back uh, over 20 years, so a couple of years before a few people here were born, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was only eight, so it didn't really matter, but, um, Anyhow, Wayne here was our was our Rick Horn of the era. Wayne took reams of videos, slides, prints, all these things that nobody's even heard of anymore. But um, I think probably we has something to do with what's on the wall here. Um, and um, so yeah, it's really cool. I think that uh, you know, wow, you know, I haven't seen a few of you in over 20 years, and uh, there you go. But um, anyhow, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go on and on here, which, again, I promise. I just, I just wanna say that um, it's cool that the club was uh, very competitive, um, you know, very strong club originally, and it's gone from strength to strength. We have people still on our all-time record and ranking lists from 1987 and two people this year. Um, so it's always been happening. We've always been a solid club that way, and I think some of the current members, you know, they, I have to remind them, there were some pretty pretty fast people around uh, in those days. Brian, oh, sorry, I, I, I missed Brian Bjornsson, who was another original member, and he was one of those fast people. <laughs> I knew I missed somebody there. And, uh, been a very social club <laughs> then and now as well. And, uh, um, you know, we have, we're at, it's, it's, the club's going very well now, but I have to remind people we had, uh, we had an awful lot of fun 25 years ago too, even, though, even if I was on me. And um, so it's, um, you know, it's pretty overwhelming. I, I'm, uh, I, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet, but I think we've become sort of the go-to road running club for adults in Vancouver now. And, um, you know, it hasn't been easy, but all of you have put your, all of you have put your contributions in. And um, I thank you for that because for me, it's been easy. It's all been fun and that's all I can say. It's been amazing. 
It's been a blast and on to the next 25 years. I've got to say, um, it's okay running really 